hey, Naomi. Hmm? What's up, Shota? Why do you look so concerned? Is something wrong? Well, I wanted to ask you for a favor. A favor? What is it? I wanted to ask you if it was alright if my mom moved in with us. Wh what? Your mom? B but I thought you cut ties with her completely when you were younger. Yeah, I did. But recently, I've been wondering what she's been up to and how she's doing. So I went to check up on her. But she has dementia now. D dementia Really? Yeah, and it's pretty bad. She didn't even recognize me. She doesn't know who I am anymore. And she's living alone right now. Oh, she has dementia and living alone. That's a recipe for disaster. Yeah, and she's gone missing a couple of times before. It's really bad, Naomi. Y yeah, that sounds terrible. And I've never been able to do anything for her, you know? I cut ties with her when I was young. So I think this might be my last chance to do something for her. I... I really want and need this, Naomi. Okay, I understand how you feel. My grandma had dementia when she was still alive, and I know how dangerous it can be for people with dementia to live by themselves. But are you sure about this? You cut ties with her because she stole money from you, right? I can live with her, but are you ready to forgive her? Yeah, I'm gonna forgive her for that. It's been years since that happened, and besides, she's the only parent I have left. She raised me, and I need to pay her back for that. Well, alright then. If you're on board, then I don't mind her moving in with us at all. You can ask her if she wants to move in with us. Thank you. Thank you so much, Naomi. This means a lot to me. My name is Naomi, and I'm a 40-year-old stay-at-home wife. My grandma had dementia, and so I have a basic understanding of what the condition can be like. I think I should be able to handle it. Yeah, it should be fine. I have nothing to worry about. And so, a few weeks later, Shota's mom moved in with us. Thanks for letting me live with you guys, Honami. My name's Naomi, Mom, and we're glad to have you with us. Yeah, I know, Honami. But man, you're a cutie, aren't you? You've been adorable ever since you were born. You're really the best, Honami. I love you so much. I wonder who Honami is. Sounds like a really nice girl, but my name definitely isn't Honami. Well, it's probably one of her friends or something. I'm not sure either. Uh-huh. Well, that makes sense. But anyway, we're really happy to have you here, ma'am. Let me know if you need anything. And so, a new chapter of our life began. Taking care of Shota's mom isn't an easy task, though. She always tries to leave the house when I'm not looking, so I always have to keep my eye on her. Hey, ma'am! Where are you? Oh my god, did she go outside again? This isn't good. Ugh. Why can't she just stay in the house, damn it? I let my guard down for a second and... Uh, anyway, I've got to chase after her. Uh, Ma'am, come back! Oh, wow, you're handsome now, aren't you? Thank you. You're quite beautiful yourself. Wait a minute. Is she hitting on me right now? I can't believe this. This is an absolute dream come true, but unfortunately, I'm already married to a beautiful MILF called Asuka. I can't just betray her. I'm gonna have to turn her down. Oh my god, there you are, ma'am. Why did you just go running off again? Huh? I was really worried about you, you know? Please don't go running off on your own again. It's dangerous out there and you could get hurt. Oh, hello, Honami. Nice seeing you here. Did you come to pick me up? I appreciate it. For the millionth time, my name is Naomi. Excuse me, sir, were you trying to help her find her way back? My name isn't Sir, it's Yujiro. Uh, oh, oh, well, nice to meet you, Mr. Yujiro. My name is Naomi. Well, this nice lady over here was just flirting with me before you came. W what She was doing what with you? Well, don't you think this man is handsome, Onami? I guess this is what you call love at first sight. Ah, man. Looks like I've done it again. I've made another girl fall for me without even trying. It's tough being handsome, isn't it? W wait so you're saying that my mother-in-law was hitting on you? Well, yes. You don't believe me? I think I was recording the interaction, so I can show you the footage. Whoa! Why is your phone screen cracked? Oh, that, that's gnarly. Are you sure that phone still works? It looks completely broken. Well, my wife did this when she found out that I was going to a girls' bar called Obachan Hompo eight times a week. And she ended up smashing my phone onto the ground. 
Did you just say you go to the bar eight times a week? So you go multiple times a day? Uh, whatever, that's not important. Anyway, thank you for keeping my mother-in-law company. All right, let's head home now, ma'am. It's time for lunch. All right, it was nice meeting you, Mr. Handsome. Adieu! Well, that was a strange man. But more importantly, I have to make sure she doesn't go running off on her own again. She could easily get in an accident or something out there. And so we spent months together, and it was hard at times. But more than anything, I was enjoying spending time with my mother-in-law. Her stories were always interesting, and I loved hearing her tell them. But she kept on sneaking out of the house every day, and when I found her, she'd always be... You're beautiful as always, ma'am. And you're as handsome as always. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? Again? Seriously? Why are you guys here flirting with each other again? And ma'am, you need to stop sneaking out of the house without telling me. You're getting too good at this. I didn't even hear you opening the front door this time around. As I said, it can be really dangerous out here for you. Come on now, you should really calm down. Yeah, I agree with Mr. Handsome. You should calm down. B but this is important stuff and I've had to repeat it many times now. Now, now. Oh, do you want a lollipop to help calm you down? Ooh, I want one! Could I please have one? Oh, wow, that's good! Would you like one as well, Naomi? No, I don't want one. <sighs> I was really worried about you, you know? You have to stop doing this. I'm really sorry about that, Naomi. Wait a minute, did you just call me Naomi? All right, let's go home now, Honami. I ventured far enough for today. I, I guess I just misheard her. Y yeah, there's no way she called me by my actual name. She always called me Honami, so... <sighs> and a few months quickly passed. Huh? Where did she go now? Ma'am! Where are you? Ma'am? God, she left the house without telling me again, didn't she? Damn it. I'm gonna have to go find her and quickly. Wait. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Huh? Oh, my phone's ringing. Wait, that's not my phone, though. This is Shota's. I guess he forgot to bring it with him to work. Huh? 20 missed calls. Um, maybe it's from Shota. I think I should answer this. Hello? Shoda? Your mother has passed away. You need to get here right away. Uh, huh? Who is this? Wait a minute. You're not Shoda. May I ask who you are? M my name is Naomi, and I'm Shoda's wife? Oh, so you're his wife, huh? I didn't even know he was married. I can't believe he just left me in the dark like that. That's just unbelievable. He hasn't changed one bit, has he? Um, who are you exactly? My name is Asuka, and I'm Shota's older sister. Oh, so you're his sister. It's nice to finally hear your voice. He did mention something about having a sister, but he said that he cut ties with his entire family after they all stole money from him. Um, but anyway, is Shota around? If he is, could I please speak to him? This is very urgent. I need to tell him that his mother passed away. Well, Shota left his phone at home, and he won't be back for a while. Wait, really? Yeah, but... But what do you mean his mother passed away? Uh, that doesn't make any sense at all. Huh? What do you mean? Well, Shota's mother passed away three months ago. I know because I was there by her bed when she passed. So I don't really know what you're talking about right now. Our mother passed away three months ago? That's right. She'd been living with us for a while and we found out she had cancer. It was already too late when we found out and there was nothing we could really do. And three months ago, she ended up passing away. What are you even talking about? That's nonsense. Our mother had been living with us for years before she passed away earlier this week. Wh what? But Shota brought her home a couple of months ago and I've been taking care of her ever since. Are you sure you're telling me the truth right now? B but Shota hasn't been here since he ran away with all our money. I haven't even seen or heard of him in years and he has changed his phone number when he went away. He disappeared from the face of the earth. I was able to get his number from a mutual friend, but that took a lot of work too. I was going to tell him to attend his mother's funeral if he'd answer my calls, but... W wait a minute! But I thought you guys were the ones who stole from Shota! Your stories aren't lining up. Shota told me that you stole from him, and that's why he ended up cutting ties with you guys. W what? That's crazy, we would never do that to him! Shota's the one that stole from us! And he just disappeared with our money years ago. Wh what in the world is going on right now? Oh shoot, 
I just realized I forgot my phone here. Shota. Huh? Why do you have my phone in your hand? W well, because your sister was calling you, Shota. What? My sister? Are you serious? Yep. Oh, oh shoot. Uh, uh, let me talk to her. Hello? Asuka? What the hell, sis? Why are you... Oh, really? Okay. Okay, then. All right. I'll call you later, then. Okay. I... I gotta get back to the office. Hold on. What is it? Your sister. She said your mother passed away a few days ago and that you'd been living with her up until that point. She also said that you were the one that stole money from them, not the other way around. You need to explain yourself now. Oh, come on. You don't seriously believe her, do you? What she's saying is nonsense. I don't know why she would lie like that, but I think you just misunderstood her or something. I've always told you the truth, honey. All right, I've got to go now. See you. Hey, wait, Shoda, come back here. <sighs> he seemed really nervous. He must be hiding something from me. He has to be. All right, I'm going to chase after him and find out what exactly is going on with him. Uh, oh, sorry. Hmm? Huh? Oh, you're the... Wait, do you know her, Yujiro? Wait, I feel like I've heard her voice somewhere before. Yeah, I do. She's the daughter of a very good-looking MILF. Huh? Oh, the one you told me about the other day? The one that hit on you? That's right. But what brings you here, young lady? You seem to be in quite a rush. Would you care to tell us what you're up to? If something's wrong, we can try to help you. We might be able to do something about your situation, or we might not. But one thing's for sure, we're definitely going to try. And I did promise that beautiful MILF that I would always try to help you, so... W wait really You made a promise like that with my mother-in-law? That's right. She asked me to protect you, even after she was gone. You're Naomi, right? W well yes but I don't think she knew my name. Well, on some days she would become fully conscious, and that's when I made that promise with her. I, I see but I didn't know that. Anyway, could you tell us about what happened? Sh sure Yujiro knew about my mother-in-law, so I guess I can tell him about what happened, and it seemed like she really trusted him, so I guess I'll try trusting him as well. And that's basically what happened. W wait hold on, b but that's... Holy crap, man. What am I gonna do? Huh? Is something wrong, honey? Well, I just got a call from my sister earlier, and my wife answered the phone instead of me. And the worst part is, my sister told her about how my mom passed away the other day. W wait are you serious? So she knows about how she was taking care of my mom the entire time until she passed away? Well, I don't think she's figured that out yet, but it might be a matter of time, really. Uh, no way. God, this is such a drag. Everything was going so well, too. I thought we had everything sorted out when we were trying to convince your wife that my mom was actually your mom, but... It's alright. I'm gonna figure something out, so you don't have to worry about anything. Just leave it up to me, okay? S sure but you better make sure she doesn't find out about us and how you've been cheating on her with me. I obviously don't have enough money to pay for a lawyer, so if she brings me to court, I'm toast! But anyway, I think we should refrain from seeing each other for a while. Yeah, you might be right, but it's okay. I'll definitely figure something out. Everything's gonna be fine, and I'll let you know if I need your help with anything. Sure, thanks. Whoa! Oh my god! W what is it? Hello? Huh? Who is this, Shoda? It's my wife! What? Are you serious? So what are you doing here, Shoda? I thought you were at work. Well, this is a business meeting and- Stop lying to her, Shoda. We all know that you were cheating on her with that girl. Asuka! What the hell? Why are you with Naomi? I ran into her at the hospital, but man, I can't believe you, Shoda. You made your wife take care of your girlfriend's mother? How could you ever do something like that? And I'm not gonna let you off the hook either, miss. Why didn't you take care of your own mother yourself? W well it seemed like it was a lot of work, and she had dementia, so... You've got to be kidding me! W what What did you just say? And who the hell are you anyway? You threw her away like a piece of garbage just because she got dementia? Have some shame! Do you know how much your mother loved you? How much she cared for you? How much work she put in so you could have a good life? What in the hell are you talking about? You don't know crap! Yes, I do. When she was still alive, your mother and I were good friends. We saw each other on a weekly basis, and every time, she'd talk about you. She forgot about a lot of things, but she never forgot about you. That's because you were the most important thing in the world to her. But, but you just threw her away because you didn't want to take care of her? That's just ridiculous! 
Well... And what you did was even worse! Not only did you trick your wife into taking care of a woman she had no connection with, you also betrayed her and cheated on her! You deserve to go to hell for what you did, you scum! You're just a terrible, garbage human being! I... But... Anyway, one of my friends is a lawyer and he can help you get as much money from these assholes as possible. You guys better brace yourselves because we're gonna make you pay for what you did. Your life is now over. Tough to break it to you, but you don't have much to live for anymore. And so afterwards, I sued these two and with the help of Mrs. Asuka's friend, I was able to get a huge payday. Apparently, I won twice as much money as people usually do in divorce courts. Not only that, but Shota and his girlfriend ended up having to quit their jobs because of all the colleagues that found out about what they did to me. They just couldn't handle all the awkward looks, I guess. And apparently, Mrs. Asuka was the one that spread the rumors about them in the office. <sighs> Thank you so much for everything, Mrs. Asuka. Mr. Yujiro, don't mention it, but I'm really sorry about what happened. I am too. I'm not even the biggest victim here. I can't help but feel terrible for what Mickey's mother went through. Her own daughter just abandoned her and made some complete random person take care of her. I can't imagine how much pain she felt in her deathbed. I don't think she felt any pain at all. I'm sure she was very happy with how her life went. W what But how can you be so sure? Well, the reason I'm so sure is... Actually, you'll know when you read this letter. Uh-huh. What is this letter? It's a letter written by Miki's mother, right before she passed away. I found it just lying on the ground in the middle of this park. It's addressed to you. Go ahead, open the letter and read it. Um, yeah, I will. I can't believe she wrote a letter to me before she passed away. Dear Mrs. Naomi, I'm very sorry for this sudden letter, but today is one of those days where I can actually think clearly. So I'm gonna use this limited opportunity to leave a few words for you, Naomi. Thank you so much for everything. I'm not entirely sure why I'm living with you and your husband right now, but I can't complain. I've really been having the time of my life recently. My real daughter always treated me like I was a pain in her butt, so it's nice to be treated with some respect and dignity. I don't blame Mickey, though. After all, it's no fun being around an old woman with dementia. I'm sure taking care of me it takes a lot of effort and patience, too. But you're not like my daughter. You're kind and respectful. Honestly, I would do anything for you to become my real daughter. But alas, that's not possible now. Anyway, thank you. Thank you for everything. You've turned my life upside down over the past few months and I couldn't be happier. And I am excited to be spending more time with you. With love, your mother-in-law. <laughs> I... I... Well, that was a beautiful letter. Huh? Looks like there's something else in that envelope. Wait, what is this? I think it's a will. And it says here that she's leaving all of her assets with me? It's a total of three million dollars? Oh yeah, I remember her mentioning something about her being a really successful business owner back in the day. I, I don't think I can accept this money. You really should. I think she'd want you to take the money. Well, are you sure? Yep, definitely. And so I ended up inheriting all of my mother-in-law's assets. I only spent a few months with her, but those were some of the best months of my life. And I'm glad she was happy during her final months as well. I really hope heaven is treating her well. Anyways, thanks for the money, Mom. I'm gonna think of different ways I can spend this money to contribute to the society and help people out. I'm gonna make you proud, so just you wait!